Structure really isn't a substitute for anything else in the writing conversation. We still need a conceptually driven premise, a strong one with inherent dramatic potential. We need a place for characters to show themselves, uh, for a theme to manifest so that we feel something. Uh, all of these things are merely the game that is played upon a playing field that is, in fact, structure. Structure is a tool, uh, nothing more, nothing less. And as you hear it uh, denied or rejected, there's a huge irony in that that I'll get to soon, but I'll preview it here. The people that deny or reject structure and yet are successful, they actually have structure and they have it in the same way I'm going to describe it to you in this pro program uh, to the same degree. They just don't want to call it that. They absolutely refuse because they think it smacks a formula. It's not a formula. It's a playing field for a game. Um, if you want, you want to know how to write a bestseller, I'll tell you how to write a bestseller. And it isn't structure. It's the strength of your premise, the idea, combined with the strength of, it, of the execution. There's always two realms to writing a story that works. One of them is the strength of the idea, and the other one is the effectiveness of how you execute that idea on the page. And that is where structure is critical. Let me use a bit of an analogy here to help pound this home. Let's go to music. I usually go to sports, but I'm going to go to music here. There's all different kinds of music. There's all different genres of music. One of them is freeform jazz. Uh, then there's all the other genres of music, uh, pop music, rap music, rock music, country music. And each of them has their fans, and the fans come to the music because of what they expect from the music. They know what they're getting. So if you go to a country show and somebody gets them up there with a saxophone and they start playing freeform jazz, then they're not going to be very happy. All of that music is based on structure and all of the structures are basically the same with the exception of freeform jazz. If you look at the structure of a rock song compared to a pop song, to a hip hop song, to a hard rock song, uh, they're going to basically, mathematically and tonally, be pretty much from the same place. The, the shape of it will be the same. Well, genre-driven fiction is very much the same thing, and yet they sound completely different. That's very much what I want you to take away from this when I say it isn't formula in any way. Structure does not tell you what your story needs to be or do, other than it t gives you the lines within which you need to play that game, which within which you need to play that song. Um, going back to sports for a minute, there's a great analogy to really make this clear. Go to football, for example. All the games take place on the same playing field. That's the structure of the game. It's 100 yards long. It's X yards wide. They get four downs to go 10 yards. This is structure. You can't reinvent that. You can't mess with it. You play your game within the boundaries that that structure dictates to you. If you play the game outside of those boundaries, there are bad things that happen to you, negative consequences. Same thing in writing. Structure provides the playing field that is, in fact, the, the boundaries, if you will, that create the expectations of the people that come to your given genre. So as people talk about this, they, they mix up the playing field and the playbook. Playbook is where you might be offered a formula. Uh, romance novels, let's call it what it is, are really quite formulaic in that they tell you how the ending must play. They tell you how it must open. Readers love it, so nobody's complaining about that in romance. But that's the game plan, but the structure underneath all that, no matter how you write your story, is a playing field that isn't as flexible. Um, it isn't that you can't reinvent it, it's that you shouldn't try to reinvent it and you don't have to reinvent it. That's the good news. Structure gives you an expectation as to what happens contextually in four parts through the course of your story. Um, the bottom line here is that structure is a tool and you build something with tools, you create something with tools, and the tool doesn't care what you call it. It still does the work that it's designed to do. And that's what this structure framework and context is all about. So as, we, as I introduce it to you in a little more depth, keep this in mind. Nobody's telling you 
how you need to write your story, what kind of character you need, what kind of plot you need. We're telling you that you need a character, that you need a plot, and that you need to set that up. You need a core dramatic arc, and you need to launch that not too soon and not too late, which narrows a window of specificity for it. You need to have your hero respond to that launch of the dramatic arc. You need to twist the story somewhere in the middle, and you need to resolve the whole thing. Those are the basic bones of structure. So don't get hung up on what famous author says to you about this. They're talking about their process. They're not talking about the playing field. They're talking about their game plan and how they get to it.